Hey strangers! Uh, you may be wondering why I'm wearing an apron today. That's because we're doing a fun tutorial! And I'm really excited to show you these paints. And they can do all kinds of stuff. They're super versatile. And to start, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be painting boots. Yeah, these boots. We're gonna paint them. It's gonna be great. Um, so I've already taken the laces out, and I'm going to put artist tape along the eyelets, I think they're called, um, so they don't get any paint in them. We're also going to need a stencil, if you would like to have something cool and easy. Easy is key. You can also just paint it yourself if you're a fantastically amazing person. Uh, a spongy, or a wee paintbrush. I like the spongy effect though. It's all cool like. And then it's easy. You don't have to paint. You just go tap 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 tap. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, you're going to need some artist tape obviously to cover the boot and to keep your stencil on the boot so it does not move around. And now the star of the show, Jacquard Lumiere. They also have um, a neon line as well if you don't like the sparkly awesome Lumiere if I'm saying that right, <laughs> uh, line. But these jacquard paints are really cool. They're metallic or sparkly or neon or just whatever color you want. And um, they can go on like fabrics, they can go on leather, they can go on ceramics, glass, like almost anything. It's insane. So that's why we're putting them on the boot. And then I got a little fancy and excited. So I got this cool blue pigment sparkle that's also by Jacquard and it mixes into like literally everything yeah everything like anything you want oil paint, acrylic paint, glue whatever the heck you want to put it in um, it even works in some of their alcohol inks uh, which are crazy it's just insane that, that, it just goes in anything I mean except for food don't put it in food it might kill you yeah, don't put it in food. Anyway, other than that, uh, that's all your... Oh wait, other than that, <laughs> you're going to need some sort of paint, paint palette um, or the top of a Tupperware. Works fine. <laughs> um, or And something to mix your pigment into your sparkly cool paint if you want the pigment as well. Um, I'll have links in the description to the Jacquard website so you can find this crap. And... If you would rather buy from a super sweet local store, you should stop by Layer Art and Supply in Bend, Oregon. They're awesome. That's where I got my stuff. Um, and let's get to it. All right, let's get to it, guys. So after some trial and error, I decided that the stencil was not going to work. So I just taped up the whole boot, and I'm going to sponge it. All of it. It's going to be great. All right, so I've got some blue mixed over there already. Um, I'm gonna need quite a lot of my nice pretty white color. Uh, super sparkle, as it's called. All right, lots of that. You might need more than you think. Um, and then just get that sponge all soaking up that cool white stuff. Um, <laughs> and then you just go for it. Do 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 do. Little tappy effects. Da, 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 da. And it makes it all like cool and textured. All right. Need to get some more on the sides there. I like to kind of pull it in the middle so that I'll have like extra here when I need it. Down the sides. And gotta kind of hold it at the top there just so you can get up here without too much hassle. Here we go, that is a super, super sparkly boot, wouldn't you say? But we don't just want a sparkly boot, we want a sparkly boot with blue in it, right? Right. 
So you gotta shake out some of your pigment. Careful, it kind of floats in the air. So I kind of kept my lid on and I like do a little this thing and then just shake it in. I find that's probably the easiest way to do it. And then you want to get your little mixer and get that all mixed up into your nice white globule. Alright. And of course, the more you add, the better it'll be, like different, well, not necessarily better, just the more you add, the more um, blue your sparkle will be. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now I've got the blue on there, you can kind of see the contrast. I kept mine pretty light. Oh yeah, dry enough now, sweet. Now with the pigment, it does take quite a bit to even just to get it this light, but be really careful with it because you don't want to inhale that. Inhale that. You you really don't. Just don't don't do it. All right, I think that's done. What about you guys? It's got the cool sparkle, it's got the white, it's got the blue. Looking good. Get some of this off the top, it's a little saturated up here. You can even take the back side of your sponge and just dab it. If my hands were free, I'd do something really embarrassing, but they're not. So uh, I guess you're spared for today. I think that does it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Um, I'd like to do more painting in the future, so if you guys liked this and like the idea of more painting coming your way, go ahead and give this um, video a like and let me know in the comments. Like, if you want me to do some oil painting, I love oil painting, let me know if you prefer some water painting, or you can watch me make some really, really bad sumi art. Hey, either way, I'd love to do more. If you guys loved it, I'd like to know. Alrighty, you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, I guess it's Saturday, so have a great next week, and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Thanks for watching!